Hey guys, if your dryer is not drying fast, taking a long time, or not even drying at all, this could be your problem. It's happened to us in the past, and it's happened again. If you see down in here where this goes to get your lint, you're supposed to uh, change it every cycle and, and take off the lint from it. You'll see down in here all the lint and garbage down in there. We had a professional come out and clean this a year ago. He did a great job and he said, you know, it's probably going to happen in another year. And sure enough, and take a look at this. You can tell too, when it bounces like this, that's when it starts, you know, you know it's time to clean it. Probably before then. So I didn't see any other videos on YouTube. Uh, so I thought this is a time to make one because uh, there are some screws in the back of the machine so that you can take panels off to access all this. So we'll go through this quick. Won't take long at all. Uh, let's get into it. The first thing you have to do, of course, is unplug your power. And the next, or the first screws are right up front. I had them loose, just Phillips screws, so I'm just going to loosen the one on the right. And that's just right above your lint, right in front, and the one on the left. Next, you'll need a hex driver for these on the back. And these are just on the back of the panel. You see the control panel here. There's just two of them, one on each side. Here's the other one. After those back two are gone, then you just give each side a gentle little push to uh, pop the control panel back. Then you can just lift the control panel, bring it forward so that we can access some screws in the back. And we're gonna access one on each side, this one here they look like Phillips heads, but what worked best for me was actually a square uh, drive to get it out. So there's, here's the one on the back corner here. And the one on the back right corner here. Now we can lift the top and access a screw up front on each side. And I just got the lid up high enough by using just what I had, a uh, Lysol uh, container, wipe container. So here's uh, screw number one on the left. Had that out a little bit. And number two on the right here. Okay, so that's easy. Next, you can lower the front a little bit. And then there is a wire right here that you can just grab and pull that out. The front of the dryer is on three hinges, you see down there? They are off and then the whole front will just lay down so you can access it all. And as you can see, right down from where the uh, lint uh, strain is, Right down in here, you can see all the lint build up right here. Even on the fan here, there's some. So we're going to clean all that out. Okay, guys, this is really kind of important right here. This is the back side, the inside. To see here's the door opening right here. So I got the whole panel turned around. Um, I was cleaning it out here. I was cleaning it out here. But... Um, what I want to show you is I'm going to turn this thing around. So to get this gray panel off here and to really clean it good, there is a pop button right up here on the side. But also you got to, in order to remove that gray panel and really give this the best cleaning that you can, you got to remove these two screws right up front. They're Phillips. We're going to take those off, flip the, uh, panel back around and then we'll clean it up. All right, so now that we have those two screws on the front side removed, now we can pop these here. And there's one over here. And now we can remove this entire gray panel and really give this thing the deep clean that it needs. Let's take a look at this. 
that is a mess. So let's clean that up. So you guys, just look how much lint there was. You know, these are good sized wrenches, drives. This is the knob on the front control panel. Look how much lint. Just, you know, exiting from where you clean the lint before it goes, like we showed, into that little fan to kick, and it kicks out to your exhaust, out to your outside. So, isn't that crazy? And so now we got this uh, passage all cleaned out. You know, it was a mess. Got uh, where the lint goes. That's really nice and clean now. So now we're going to put everything back together. So this piece just basically snaps back on there. And this side, snap it back on. Make everything sure everything snapped back into place. Snap the base or the bottom portion of this back into place. And that's about it. We're gonna tighten the two screws right up front here. We're gonna place the door on the three uh, hinge places. So that's on there good. And we're gonna put the wire connector, pop that back in. All right, when we put the front panel on, we're gonna make sure the drum is on there good all the way around. And then we're gonna put on these two screws up front again. I got that one, gonna do this one now. Okay, now we're gonna put these two screws on that are on the back. Fasten down the top piece. So now instead of putting the control panel back on, first I'm going to make sure things up front line up. And I'm going to put on uh, these two front screws quick. That way if things didn't line up, I don't have to go back and take off that control panel. Alright, everything's snugged up and lined up perfectly there. Alright, now for the control panel, you got these four little tabs. They go in there, and then it just slides back, so you pull it back. And then come back and we'll get those tightened up in there. All right, so we're just going to tighten down these last couple hex screws in the back. Tighten this one down good. All right, that one's nice. And now for the finale, look how clean it is down in there. Remember how dirty it was? Remember how all that was down in there and causing the drying cycle to take forever or maybe not to dry at all? So, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Oh, and also notice how this doesn't bounce off the bottom anymore that we got all that gunk cleaned out of there. Hey, if this is the kind of uh, how-to that you like, subscribe and hope to see you soon! Woohoo!